David, we've chosen three Charolais and an Ultra Black just to sort of feature of, of some of the bulls who have special interest in the sale. Um, mate, this lot two, this Gridmaker bull, tell us a bit about him. Your lot, lot two, Benny at uh, Palgrove Herald. Um, he's one of three sons in the sale by M6 Gridmaker. Gridmaker's a uh, really high indexing bull and has bred very well to us, but added into the pedigree here is uh, the Palgrove Exodus daughter. Exodus is a big square hip beef bull and just puts a bit of strength into that into that, uh, into that that uh, high numbered pole line. Uh, this is a bull that we used ourselves in the start as a yearling. He covered nearly 40 cows uh, and just handled himself really well. He's, he's come out of cows and he's matched up with any all the bulls that, that, that didn't join at all and that was in a tough joining season in the summer. We're going to retain a semen interest in this bull to replace uh, his side that we've, we've been using for a couple of years by AI. What stands out about this bull, phenotypically, just a wonderful skin. It's probably the sleekest skin bull in the sale. It tells me a lot about his quality and his, and his carcass attributes and uh, just the type of skin that's really, really hard to breathe and um, perfect he's, structure. Yeah, he's great on the figures too, mate. Yeah, great set of numbers. Um, really low birth, top 25%, minus 0.5. But look at that, it blows out to 43 for 600 and 30 for 400. They're real curve bending numbers and then just a big EMA, top 10% of the breed for eye muscle to boot. So you get, um, you know, he's, he's a bull that we had we had to keep some a semen in. And, and uh, um, a tough decision to sell this sort of bull. Smooth pole, moves like a cat, lovely poled head, perfect feet and legs. Uh, he's, to me, he's a real sire and a, and a real sale feature. Lot seven, it's great to have, you know, a, a power grave side, you know, a bull that's in these special individual lots. I know you've got some great bulls from America, but it's great to see some homebred stuff as well. Um, power grave charm, he's bred pretty well for you. Yeah, charm's a, a bull, this is the lot seven bull, Hallmark. He's a polled red factor bull, and his sire charm, we sold as a two year old, but kept a semen interest in that bull. And although we might only breed him to about 10 or so cows a year by AI, He's just a no-miss, really high strike rate. Two sires in this sale in the in the top ten lots, uh, which is incredible. And this 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 bull here is a he's a double pole bull. Uh, he's red factor, but something that's of real interest is we've DNA tested this bull to be homozygous polled, and uh, to see the strength in this bull and the balance and appeal, and know that he's going to breed 100% pole calves. Um, is, is a real bonus. One of the things that everyone's trying to breed in the industry, you know, he's in the top 5% for eye muscle area, but he's also in the top 10% for fat cover. And that's got to be good. Yeah, Ben, and, and, and we're really trying to identify those bulls because, I mean, those those traits can be antagonistic. Once you once you push up in the top end muscling, mm. you can you can lose a lot of rump fat. And to have a bull that can do both is, is really special. And, and a bull that can, again, be used as a yearling, he's a low birth weight bull, and then stack up with the, with the best of our bulls that, have, that, that haven't been joined um, as you know as, as 20 months old. Uh, fantastic. Uh, we're retaining a semen interest again, and tough decision to sell this bull because he's he's a bull that um, we could we could use um, heavily as a walking bull in the stud. Mate, uh, lot 76, a um, a junior bull, a bull that I really like, uh, red factor bull. Mate, um, tell me a bit about the dam, uh, Raquel. Yeah, I mean. And we picked this bull out for the video, Ben. He's just a baby, 16 months. He's a pole red factor bull, or double pole, smooth pole. He's the first of the Windman Lanzas to sell, the, the low birth weight Canadian side that's breeding really well for the sparrow herd in Canada. But his mum, she's a she's an absolute corker. She's her first calf. We used him as a yearling over heifers as well, and then we sold him in our bull sale last year for 17,000. He was one of our high selling bulls last year, and uh, this bloke's the second calf out of that young cow. And, uh, yeah, he's a he's to be backed by a, a really good cow is fantastic. Again, big EMA, big positive EMA, positive rump fat, moderate breed average birth, top 15% for, for you know four and 600 day growth. Just a um, just a I, I consider a real sale feature and start all commercially to be a mate. Uh, lot 123. Uh a young ultra black bull that you're featuring, uh, again by this American sire, Hombre, he's done a great job for you. He has been, yeah, no, he's been, uh, uh, we saw Hombre in the, in the States and, and just Mr. Consistent, just good, thick, powerful, 100% the same calves and, and, and we wanted to breed that consistency into our ultra black program. So so this bloke here, he's lot 123, he's an ET calf actually and um, one of three flush brothers in the sale, just yearling, 16 and a half months and 
and uh, so he's typical of what we're trying to breed as, as an ultra black. He's 81% he's Angus, 19% Brahmin. Um, he's really soft, wonderful disposition, uh, flat back, really level hipped, clean underneath, but a big scrotal, and it's really typical of, of the type of ultra black bulls that we're aiming to breed in numbers to uh, complement our, uh, our uh, Charolais bull job.